What's up, boys? Today I'm doing the Magma Core because I'm doing the Recon Scout and I'm doing the blue screen build where I focus the cryo grenades and get as much reload speed as possible and just freeze everything and make it so I can't see anything as well. So I'm going to be getting the Stun Sweeper as my third weapon, hopefully, since that will unlock the throwable upgrades for my previous two weapons and then that will allow me to get more reload speed and I think damage on them or something. I don't mind putting some early points into the Zukov since that has the cryo conversion available to it. And then that would allow me to get some global upgrades for the cryo grenade. And then for the fourth weapon, I don't think it matters that much. I could get the cryo drones for some more upgrades in that area. I could get the Nishanka to get some electrical and acid debuffs to buff the rest of my build. And that's about it. Fire rate isn't going to be that important to me since the grenades don't work with it and that's going to be my main weapon here. Got some decent gold so I can do some rerolls now if that's necessary. And there we go, it's not. The taser would be a decent weapon as well. That applies some electrical, electrical debuffs, excuse me. And you can also get the sidearm overclock on that to increase the damage of your other weapons. Same with the stun sweeper since I need that for the throwable stuff anyway, so fire rate doesn't really help the cryo grenade. So this is pretty good. Reload speed and some other useful damage stats. Um, I guess I will take a paint job. It'll be useless later on, but it'll help out the early game pretty nicely. And I feel like the Cryo Grenade is a bit weak in the early game until you get the Triple Grenade Overclock for it, since that's over doubling the total damage it can deal. Uh, let's take the level here. I am going to need the Overclocks fairly quickly. And then later on, I'm just going to be keeping the passive up as much as possible for the huge reload speed. And that should freeze stuff an insane amount, as well as dealing pretty nice AoE damage. Single target probably won't be super impressive, but oh well. Got more cryo grenade, not bad. Exemplary work. You've achieved your objective in a record time. Like the little spots where you can mine and stand in the lava at the same time, although I can't quite reach it there. Since the passive is actually really strong on this class mod. I'm not scared of you. Probably start pushing some damage on the elites here. Big movement That's speed, not bad. That's a no-brainer. This is gonna take me quite a while. I can get another level on the cryo grenade that could help. Kind of hard to get the detonators on them with the cryo grenade as your first weapon, though. Maybe now. I think that's everything for the level, so I might want to go for the lava pools now and some XP farming. Crit damage. Let's see if I can get a cryo grenade here. Damage or reload, I want all of that I can get. And we got the triple, very nice. Off to a great start. The rarity on the upgrades isn't super impressive, but at least I got the required overclock. Some more damage is decent. Threat level increasing. Oh, yes. Cryo, sure. I just became a better dwarf. More cryo, I not bad. Yesterday. Oh. Oh. 
crit damage is Got not too blood. bad. Guess what's on the menu? Some big detonators in there. I can probably just kill them and give the explosions. So I would like to get the stun sweeper here to get the throwable upgrades unlocked. There we go. Electric boomerangs, please. That also applies some shock debuffs and allows me to get the sidearm overclock on it, buffing my other weapons. Looks like the elite is about to die, so can't farm that much more here. Crits or fire rates? Um, that's a lot higher, and I would like the cryo conversion on it. Reload speed for throwable. I do want both of these, but I think I'm going to take the cryo upgrade here. Big reload, not bad. That's pretty close, so I can do another sweep around here. Damage or reload. Probably the damage. Reload onto light is not useful, so I'm just going to trade. I'm going to take that. I'm not going to trake anything. Got some damage there. I'd rather have reload speed for that. Luck or damage. It's pretty early on. Status is going to be pretty bad here. I'll look for the conversion here, and there we go. My favorite type of clock. Stage one completed. Well done. Taking you to stage two. Big damage. Legendary. I don't know if I'm going to be pushing that. The upgrades for it are good for that weapon, but they won't really help the cryo grenade here. This works. I want another go. Reload speed. I do want for nice. that, I'll and more it. damage there. Reload speed. Very nice. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, I'll grab a bit of HP since I have some gold left. Your mission is clear. Get to it. Kill anything with more legs than two. So how are we doing on the reload now? 1.38, and I can still improve that quite a bit. Swarm detected. Get ready. We'll be with you shortly. So I don't need the cryo drone to get cryo upgrades now, so I think probably just the Nishanka would be good for the debuffs. The stubby and the bug taser would be fine as well. I'm probably just going to take whichever of those three I get first and not reroll too much. So I think 
probably just Nitra here for some extra levels. It's still pretty early on to get some value from that. I actually really do like Armor Grease on the Recon mod, since going from 30% dodge to 40% is a decent increase in survivability. Cryo, probably not. I'm mainly just using the grenade for damage. Um, Plasma Charger has some kind of cool overclocks, but I'd rather have something buffing my other weapons. And there we go, Stubby is pretty good for that. The bad thing is that all of these support weapons that I was looking at there will unlock electrical upgrades, which will dilute the pool a bit since I don't want those. I do want to be mining out random stuff to get a bit of extra nitra if I have free time here. And I can also clear out some lava pools at the same time to keep the dodge up. You can move through enemies when they're frozen and not take damage, so that's a pretty big bonus to builds like this. Threat level keeps increasing. You need to work faster. Much better. Damage. I guess I'll look for the overclocks. I do need a decent number of levels on those still. And there's nothing interesting there. Sorry, little fuck. You're on fire. Running out of bugs. More are on the way. Reload is pretty nice for those. That'll give me more of the electrical I debuff. This, and I do want the overclocks on them. Paint job is pretty nice. I think I will take that at a higher rarity. Reload speed is also very nice, of course. Running out of bugs. More are on the way. Reload speed, sure. the upgrade I was looking for. Reload speed, um, it is fairly early still, only level 30, so I suppose the luck here. Damage, um, let me get a little bit of passive Give movement speed. So that even when I don't have my passive up, I still have some. Be happy you can see my scanner, but I advise that you move, miner. Think you can kill me? Think again. Cryo is now, not is bad. Cryo, I'll probably take that at the higher rarity. Projectile damage doesn't really help me. So, reload. Probably the most helpful if I'm looking I'm for the overclock on that one. I will take the reload on the cryo grenade. Oh. Drop pod has arrived. 
get there before the time reload runs out. there is fantastic the is going to hang around another reload for the this cryo works. not bad damage onto the stubby not amazing probably just take some crit here I'd rather have reload or fire rate on that is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. Well done, miner. XP kind of late for that. Alone. Let's grab Stage a little bit of survivability here. Big damage. Don't mind if I do. Explosion radius and pulls enemies in. Very nice. I think I will take reload on that. Reload on throwable is pretty nice. Got to spend some gold now. More reload, very nice. Electrical is useless. Show me more. Projectile or move or reload. I could get both of those. Sure. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. So now we've got the blue screen going, tons of reload speed, bit of extra radius from the unstable, and pulls enemies in as well for even more crowd control. Very hard to see on top of myself. Good, good. Big swarm detected. Bugman, get ready. I probably want even more survivability once it starts getting this hard to see, though. The life and region artifact would be very helpful. Clean up the LZ. Objective completed. There you go. Delivery of one resupply for you, Miner. So dodge is not bad. I'll probably just take that. That has some pretty nice potential with the nitro scanner we get a bit more crit towards the end I think I am gonna take the HP here since I'm going to be having a lot of trouble seeing exactly where enemies are with the giant blue circles everywhere so magnet towards the top middle swarm detected get ready they'll be with you shortly Uh, that's really bad with the detonators being frozen over there. Projectile, these are not great. Damage, I guess. It's probably my second best weapon since it is getting the throwable upgrades. Uh, let's take the reload speed Hell into overclock yes. there. No sidearm, but that will help apply this debuffs a bit.
paint job, I guess. I do need the sidearm for that still. It's a lot of detonators if I can get some killed on them. Those elites are almost certainly going to die there, so I need to get up to the magnet. Luckily, it's right next to the drop pod, so that's pretty good. There's a lot of enemies near the entrance with some nasty range guys, so I'm not going to stick around too long here. I don't think I care about that. I do care about that, though. And that. And I guess that for the overclock. There we go. Sidearm. Those are actually both nice utility, but that's the main one I want. I do need to get the level 12 on that still. Reload, sure. Even more reload. Um, I think that's better damage at this point. I have so much there. But that's better for the blue screen. Alright, I'm not going to hang around here since I think that's pretty dangerous with all the stationary guys camping near the entrance. I might be able to kill them, but then the other guys might surround me. I have the sidearm there, so I don't think I need to grab that. I would like some survivability, but I need a bit more to reroll as well. Big damage. Unfortunately, I can't get that now. Um, that would put me right at 12, so it's not too bad. And we did get the sidearm, very nice. Bit of crit is helpful. So I've got double sidearm with throwable up upgrades. This should be some of the highest damage you could get on the cryo grenade now, while I have my passive reload speed up. That puts me at 0.75 now. If you go cryo on the demolitionist, I think you get damage and explosion radius upgrades for multiple explosion weapons. And then the Demolition is passive, gives you reload speed and explosion radius. Big swarm detected. Bugaman, get ready. Try and make my escape to the right. I don't really want to get locked in there, although I can freeze almost everything. chance. Seems like the best one at this point. Pickup radius won't do much for me at this point. And projectile doesn't even work. Too much crap in the way. Supplies can't land. Clear it out, miner. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. get those flowers out of the way to get there. I... Oh, they're on the left side. Okay, that's probably fine. I can farm XP for a while. That will reduce me by 24.5. That's probably doable. And good damage. Armor, reload, Gotta take the reload. Crit damage. Need 
So the, now the damage should be very insane, but I have to be a bit careful when my passive isn't up. Alright, this build is getting pretty nuts, Jesus. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. I'm gonna try and dump most of my nitra here just in case. Stage four is done. Onwards to stage five. Don't wanna get go. too slow here. Um those aren't really useful though. In fact, nothing here is useful. More options. Crit chance. I'm growing stronger. Uh, fire rate's okay on that. It is pretty good at applying the debuff. Might as well. Let me try again. Reload, this definitely. Probably not. Crit damage is okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Surely next time will be better. Reload is okay. I can get both of those, and then maybe this, I can look for an 18 on that, which me. would be pretty funny. May as well grab it's that. A extra special. Can't really buy anything else, so I may as well hold that in case I get gold tipped or the pay to win the scanner. Pay to win Good console, I mean. I guess my damage actually does scale extremely well with Nitra though, the crit and the damage. Single target is always really bad with these builds, it seems like, so I should save that for the boss here. some area nearby and get a bit of nitro from the scanner. I'll probably need an epic paint job to have a chance at the stubby 18. But it's not super important, just a bit more of the shock debuff for some extra crit. Blue screen fully online. Bit of gold might help me reroll into something useful here, but not super important. Get 
it's so bright. You want some more? Crit damage, sure. Or I could look for something like reload speed or paint job, maybe. Damage is fine. Give me, give me, give me. Decent roll. Fade out the charge. He should get frozen here. Big crit chance. That's a bit over 20%. That's probably better, I would think. Yeah, my damage is kind of insane for a build like this, but it's still kind of hard to kill that a single target boss. And I actually did get the paint job, so that will allow me to get a lot more stacks with plus 200% fire rate. So even more crit on the boss here. And there you have it, the blue screen scout build. Actually pretty strong, some of the highest damage on a pure grenade build I've had. If you want to see more stupid builds, don't forget to leave me a like or a subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Very well done, Miner. Taking you back to the space rig. Huge reload speed, got probably the best in slot overclocks for the build, with the triple at the very first one, and then some extra reload speed. There is an explosion radius that would have been pretty good as well, but I actually wanted the reload speed just to get as much as possible with the scout passive there. Got the surprise 18 there for some extra shock stacks. Probably over 100% crit with the weapons applying the debuffs fully ramped up on the boss there. Pretty solid build overall. Very chill to play with freezing basically everything. Pretty good movement speed and dodge chance. Very nice nitra scaling with the powder and the pickled nitra. And a fairly early scanner as well to feed into that. Not bad at all. That's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.